Hello guys and welcome to another workout video. I'm very happy that you're here and I'm sure that you are happy to be here too. We're gonna do 10 minutes of abs and cores for our first exercise. We're gonna do a tuck hold. So you're gonna lift your knees, lift your head and try to put your hands by the side of your hips stretched up. Press your back to the ground, your lower back. Try to tense your core, keep it as strong as you can. We're gonna do about 30 seconds here. Once 30 seconds pass, we're gonna stretch our legs and do an open hold for a minute. It does get intense when you're going for a minute on the open hold. So I do come back to the hollow tuck for a couple seconds to then get back to my open hold. So from the hollow tuck, we're here, and then we open. The main thing to focus on this exercise is to keep your lower back solid on the ground, as flat as you can. That is the way that you're gonna work those inner core muscles, and that is the way you're gonna get all those healthy gains in your spine. So try not to bend it if you bend it a little bit maybe you can do the the open a little bit less open just be a bit more closed try to keep your legs stretched and we're gonna keep going once we are done keep going keep going keep going it's gonna be a couple more seconds and then we rest i'm sure you're happy to be resting, I am happy to be resting right now. Now I'm gonna do some knee turns, massaging that lower back, just worked a lot. And I'm gonna go straight into some bridges. So I tuck my scapulas in there to be a good support. And then I'm gonna do about a minute of bridges. Here you wanna tense your glutes when you go up. Hold a microsecond, like maybe half a second on top while tensing your glutes the back of your hamstrings. That way you can feel the, the heat and the tension of this workout. It's getting nice and sunny here in, in Lima. I'm very happy to be able to work out and be outside having some of this gorgeous sun hitting my face and body. Keep going, try to put the weight of your feet on your heels. And once we're done, I'll take a small rest and we're gonna go into some bicycles. So here as well, your lower back should be pressed to the ground. And we're gonna, as quickly as you can, we're gonna do a minute of these. So we stretch one leg while bending the other knee and hitting the opposite elbow. This is a cardio and core workout, really good for your core exercises, your abdominals. And also the hip flexors. You're gonna find that after a couple seconds of doing this exercise, your hip flexors, your front hip flexors are gonna start burning. Hip flexors are so good to be worked on. Okay, now we rest, bring those knees to your chest. I can, you can do as me, where you grab your toes and you open up to a baby pose. I think this is a child baby pose. I don't remember the exact yoga name. I'm gonna put it here in the video. But it's very good to spread your lower back and to relax your spine. I'm gonna stretch a little bit. That was an intense bicycle set. And we're gonna prepare to our next, for our next exercise. Take a breather here, relax. We're gonna step into all fours and we're gonna go into one of my favorite exercises, which is the crawl. I think this is called the bear crawl. Uh, you lift your knees a little bit and then you're gonna walk slowly with opposite leg and opposite hand. We're gonna do 
forward and backwards. So the left knee goes forward and the right hand goes forward as well. And then the next step you do opposite hand. So left knee, right hand, right knee, left hand. Backwards is the same. On here you try to keep a stable spine. So your, ba your back, as you can see, has to be completely flat. You should not be arching your back and your shoulders and your head should not be falling down. So try to press with your scapulas, with your chest to the ground and keep your body as stable as you can. Do this as fast or as slow as you want and try to do three to four steps forward and then three to four steps back. Feel free to stop and take a breather if you're feeling tired. If not, keep grinding. That's a great workout, not only for your core, but for your triceps, your shoulders and your knees, your ankles. Great full body workout. Working on our primal abilities, so crawling is really a primal ability that has so many benefits for our body. I recently implemented it into my workouts and I, I want to do it every single time I can. So now I'm relaxing a little bit, just soaking in the sun, breathing and chilling a little bit. And I'm going to go into a V-sit. So this is not a, a full V-sit. I'm going to do a minute here with a half V-sit where your legs are bent like me. And the last 10 seconds, I'm going to stretch my legs. Feel free to do so like so. If not, just stay with your legs bent and keep your position. Spine and back also as straight as you can. Let's keep those spines healthy. Now I'm gonna go into some single leg raises. So this is a, an exercise a gymnast friend taught me and I found it very challenging balance wise and strength wise. So we're gonna sit down, bring our legs close to us and with a straight leg, we're just gonna point our toes and try to lift them up and down. I'm gonna do 30 seconds on each leg. Really works on your hip flexors and the lower part of your core. Now we're working on the right side. And as soon as we finish, we're gonna do the same thing, but with both legs. On this exercise with both legs, I'm currently working on moving less of my torso while I do it. I try to keep a stable torso, but this is the best I can get right now. I'm gonna do between eight to 10 of these double leg still raises or straight leg raises really good for your hip flexors as well. So much love for the hip flexors. Now we're gonna go to one of the last exercises. So we're gonna do open closes, open and close on all fours. With a couple second hold, we're gonna do this slowly as we can. So left leg touches the right elbow, it closes, and then it opens as far as we can trying to keep the core stable. That is the muscle that we're working right now. So the core should be tightened and stable. Also your glutes and your left elbow on this chance should be tensed and as stable as we can. We're gonna do about 30 seconds on each side. Go as fast as we can. Now we're gonna do a hold, so at the end, we take it to a hold for 15 seconds. Now we're gonna do the other side. Right knee to left elbow, keeping the core, the glutes and the right shoulder as stable as we can while we move through this whole workout. So once we do about 30 seconds of this open close, as slowly as we can, I should recommend. We're gonna hold, hold on the open position, hold, 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 as much as we can. And we're gonna let go. This was really good. I'm gonna relax a little bit here. 
This was a very good workout. So we finished our 10 minutes. You can hear the alarm going off. So you should feel good about yourself. I'm feeling good about myself right now. This was a really nice workout. Really nice to get some sun with me. So I'll see you in the next time. You can follow Mauricio Move for more mobility workouts and some tips. Have fun.